Hello everyone, Neon Julie Buff here. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, Dez? I guess she's working out. Like, I, I guess that noose doubles as a treadmill? What is she doing? She's just running. Yeah, in the last episode we came back from the Glitz Pit, we got our Crystal Star, and now it is time to return that star to the Thousand Year Door. The thing is, I did promise to read Luigi's story first, so I guess I can do his first. All right, it's time, guys. Oh, no. Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at the Plumpelly Village recently. Oh, boy, I really got my hands dirty on this one. I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. You want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear? Plump Billy Village. Okay, you guys asked for this. I don't think anyone asked for it, but still, it's time for the worst Luigi mission ever. Well, like I said, it's a pretty long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on this strudel continent, we made for Plump Billy Village. Once we got there, through, we immediately noticed something was wrong. We learned that some, we, we learned something, we learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snack named Hezar. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to the beast too. So, so of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go, I, I offered up myself to go, uh, wait, what? I offered, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, uh huh? Now the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got into his ass lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed, I, ma I managed to shift and wear these sha really shafts, bro. I finally found a Hiza and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary! I fainted real quick, but then I, but when I came back, I managed to distract both the heads. I reared up fangs, better to attack, and at that moment, I, I definitely lunged left. I definitely... He's got... His gapping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke like every other Mario boss. A, a shiny plate fell on his on the spot where Heza's body was had been coiled. And yes, another compass piece. I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Uh, eh, you know, just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sorta of cute, but I ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to rescue Princess Igrer from the Chestnut Kingdom. And when the Marvelous Compass activated, this time I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Igrer's voice. Hey, uh, you know, my heart began to race and I realized it. Princess Igrer, I think I... Oh, I zoned out for a bit there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again and after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come back and see me, okay, bro? Thunder! That was my Luigi impression. I'm sorry, guys, but everyone... Nobody wanted this, but still, yeah, you know. Hi, I guess I'm Jerry. I'm bob -omb from Plump Valley Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you'd be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a, bri as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Uh, all of Luigi's partners hate him. Or like trying to like stop him. They're not here for the adventure. They're here to like make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. I can't believe that's Luigi's partners. 
Yep, that's what Luigi's been going through recently. Uh, he dressed as a bride. I, uh, I'm surprised Nintendo hasn't made this a game yet. Like, why can't Paper Luigi be an actual game? Like, look, they already have a whole story for it. Make the game now, please. Although, knowing them, they wouldn't give it a story. They'd make it pretty bland like uh, Sticker Star. <sighs> or maybe the Switch. I mean, the Switch did fix Mario Party, so I mean, why not fix uh, Paper Mario as well? Oh, and speaking of Switch, so they announced Ridley and Super Smash Bros. And I gotta say, I'm real excited for that, because obviously, if you see... If you uh, saw my reaction, then you know that, yeah, I am pretty excited. I'm, I cannot believe they finally put Ridley in this game. I'm so happy. Six months from now, I'll finally be able to play as Ridley in a Smash Bros. game. That's, that's all I ever wanted, really. That's all I ever wanted. Hello, Dazzle. I want to check out your hearts. There's nothing here that I really need at the moment. Nah, I think I'm good. I know, I'm sorry, it's lame, I know, but... There's nothing I really need at the moment. Right now, all we gotta do is look for that crystal. I mean, look for the uh, thousand-year door and, and return the crystal star to it. So, I will be right back. Wait, I forgot. We have our new power. We can... We can... Uh, we can... Whoa! There's a star piece there. We can break the blockade and just... There we go. Shortcut now. We don't need that paper airplane thing anymore. Thank you. We can just destroy this blockade. And now it is time. It's time now to return the Crystal Star with our new pal Dizzy Dez. It's your turn to see. And it's now it's time for the Goomba, frankly, cutscenes that I hate doing because it's so much dialogue. Oh, and this chapter is going to be even more. Oh, what is this? It seems like our next location is... I have no idea, but it's somewhere in the woods! Looks kind of gloomy and creepy. Our new location has been found. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Can't that frankly guy read it? That'd be cool. At first we better tell him what Peach's email said, right? How do you know who Frankly is? Unless Mario told you or something, but how do you know who Frankly is? You, you were just born, like, a few episodes ago. What?! The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquer?! Uh, yeah, huh? You got that right. That's why those jerks need legendary treasure! Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was actually a great... Oh crap, a great catalysm! The, a, the very great catalysm that a thousand years ago sank the town underground! I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. I must get my hands on those healthy purple berries. And that's all that matters, because if they get it, then once again, this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Prof. We gotta find the next crystal star super quick. Quick, Lee. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next Crystal Star is in Twilight Town! Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about this place myself. Only rumors! I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually damn and eerie there! Wait, just a moment! Aha! It appears that there's a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere in Rowport! I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, come back and see me again, alright? 
underground in the west part of town? Check! Gotcha, prof! Come on, Gonzalez! Let's go! Time to break out! Thank you, frankly! Alright, it's time to find a pipe in the west side of- You got an email! Uh, you guys can read that if you want to. I'm not gonna read it because it's not important to the story at all. It's just a little extra. I don't really care to read it, but if you guys want to, then, uh, yeah, go ahead. There you go. You can, like, pause and read that yourself. I don't really know. I don't, I don't really care what it says because I... It's not important to the story. I remember it, though. All I know is it's, it's kind of weird, but that's it. Anyway, the west side of Rogueport, excuse me, underneath the ground. Let's find a pipe. Okay, let's do that. Let's go. But before I do anything, I kind of want to um, buy some item. I items? Items. Is my item still stored here, I believe? Withdraw... Oh, well, where the hell did I put my Ultra Shroom, then? Maybe it's in the other one. Okay. Um, there's no Super Shrooms here, so I really don't want to buy any items from here. Maybe the other... Oh, the West I has um, better items. And maybe that's where I stored my... Um, my item. My Ultra Shroom. I don't know if I used it or not. I hope I didn't use it, because that's a really good item that I want to save for a bit later. Let's check the shop. I'll be right back. I'm going to check the shop real quick. Quickly, I mean. All right, we are back in business. What we're going to do now is turn flat like paper, follow down the sewer, and then we should find the pipe leading to a rogue port to Twilight Town. And, ooh, Shrine Sprite. Okay. I don't know where this leads. Oh, wait, I know where this leads. Hold on. I want to do some... Let's do a few things first before we do anything. Let's explore around here first. Because, oh, there's a star piece over there. It's a good thing I checked. All right. And I believe that there's a house somewhere around here as well. I know it's something, but I don't think we're supposed to go there just yet. I can check, but if it's anything that we can't do at the moment, then I'll just go back and skip to where we find the pipe. So I'll be right back. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. Star piece here. It seems that there's some kind of bar here, and it's a bob on buddy and a toad butler. That's kind of cool. Howdy do! My name's Wonky. I just got, I just know stuff. I may not look like it, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I may know might, could help you, too. You want me to ask it? Wait, what? Okay, so what, so what's this guy do? Pay me five coins. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you about Yoshi colors. Uh, oh, sure. Why not? Way, way, way down in the south, an island where a lot of Yoshis live. And Yoshis are born from eggs, as everyone knows. But a Yoshi's color depends on its egg conditions right before hatching. So it's always a surprise to see what comes out. You know what I mean? Yo Yoshi has a rather nice color, by the way. I'm sure I'll grow up to be a fine Yoshi, yup. And that is just that. You, if you need anything else, just add all, all, ask old Wonky. That was it? He just wanted to comment on my Yoshi, I guess. Well, thank you. So this looks like an old item shop, and whoa, that's a lot of cool stuff. A gold? You're selling gold? Hold on. Holy crap. Look at all this in... Why does this part... 200 gold? Why do you have so much expensive... Or, or, or so many expensive items? Okay, then. Never mind. Let's go back to that pipe now. <laughs> There's nothing here. All right, so the pipe is behind this door. All right, this is a really weird-looking pipe. It's brown. It's not really appealing, but okay. A brown pipe. Sewage. Ugh. All right, but it says that this is the pipe to Twilight Town, so let's go, I guess. What? The pipe rejected you. What? A pipe? How dare a pipe reject Mario? Yes, guys, the pipe rejected us. We cannot go down that pipe. I guess, since we're stuck, let's go back and talk to Frankly. We're stuck? This pipe rejected us. What? Frankly, this pipe rejected us! Yo, Prof, we found your pipe, and that thing's all stopped us. We tried and tried, but we couldn't break through it. You got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through that pipe, you say? 
How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. So if anyone knows how to get through that pipe, it, it'd be him. His name is, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, oh, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Go look for Darkly. But where could Darkly be? I don't know. I actually know exactly where Darkly is. You see this wall right here? It's not a wall. It's just an eye trick, and here's Darkly. See so if you're looking for him. Wait a minute, what? Star piece. Okay. But anyway, here is Darkly. But. Before I do anything, I actually want to switch to Flurry, so hold on. I'll be right back. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe in Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You, you just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everybody does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario! Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it right here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There! Perfect amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Depends on who's asking. For you, I'm Flurry. Ooh, okay then. He's not even writing anything. Hmm, a bit to the left. Uh, uh, what? Flurry. <laughs> this is why I switch to Flurry all the time. He writes nowhere. He just writes in the air and then she like, she likes it? Like what? Okay then. I don't know. I don't know what errand is talking to you in Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. But thank you, Darkly. Now, let's go back to that pipe. I will see you guys there. Alright guys, now it is time to jump in this pipe for real. Let's hope it works. And it does! Chapter 4! For Pigs the Bell Tolls. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me! Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It, it's a scary tale to hear, and scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again! Oh, this is so awful! Who could it be now? Whoa, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen! What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Who said that? Whoa! Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dwar. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This place... This isn't the place for telling tales, sadly. Come. Come to my home. Uh, uh, okay then. Twilight Town. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. 
But welcoming people is generally a good thing. And nothing but bad is here. As you may have guessed, this town has been cursed. Whoa! Cursed? Yes, cursed. That... That is the right word, yes? Yes, of course it is. You see... Beyond town is a forest, and its heart is an ancient building of, of the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the creepy steeple's bell rings. One of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave us before you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called the Crystal Star. Um, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star! It's gotta be! Uh, you people aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <sighs> unthinkable. This place is really depressing, look at this! Half the people are pigs! Yoink, yoink! This is so... Sad. I feel bad for these people. Well, you know what? Before anything, I'm actually going to rest at the inn, and then I'm actually going to end off the episode, because I've been recording for about 32 minutes now, and I'm not sure... I'm not exactly sure how long that'll be in the actual video. So, yeah. Use the inn coupon, and then I will rest, and I will end the episode off here. So... Thank you guys for watching this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, please not forget to leave likes, like, subscribe, favor, and comment, and tell me, um... Yeah, uh, have you guys ever been to a creepy place like this, like Twilight Town? Like, it's so weird. Uh, ooh, we got a peach. A peachy peach. Thank you for that. Have you guys ever been to a creepy town like this? I, I don't know if they exist, but maybe have you been to like an eerie town before? I've kind of been that, like at night, on like Halloween, obviously it's eerie and creepy on Halloween, but still, I, I, I kind of like how, it, it's kind of cool in a way, you know? So, yeah, that's the question of the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. No stop.